welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a ColourPop Lippy Declutter. I have waited so long to film this video and it needs to happen because some of these lippies have got to go. They're so old and crusty and I'm like so so embarrassed so if you're interested in seeing what I end up keeping and what I end up getting rid of, just keep watching. So I am a huge collector of ColourPop. I just think their products are pretty affordable, pretty good quality. They're like the first ever liquid lipsticks I ever bought because they were so affordable. And so without further ado, let's get into it. This first shade is an ultra matte lip and it's in the shade First Class. It's a very beautiful like orangey coral shade. And let me swatch this for you. I was planning on swatching everything for you guys today. So this is what it looks like. Uh, the formula looked a little bit gross when I first picked it up, but it looks okay. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. Next, I have a shade called Bad Habit. This is like a rosy pink shade. This one looks pretty good as well. Here is the color if you're interested. And I just saw, I got an email from ColourPop saying they're doing free worldwide shipping. So if you want to get any of these, you better hop on it. This is the shade More Better. This one looks like it's in good shape as well. This is an ultra matte lip. It's in a beautiful berry shade. Next is the shade Succulent. And I believe this is an ultra satin. This one, it's a beautiful shade. It didn't go on very smooth. And it's a little bit crusty looking on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. Next, this one looks old as heck if you can see into this. This is the shade Investigator. It's like a nudie pink shade. Actually swatch pretty well. There it is right there. <sighs> so conflicted guys. What do I do? Do I keep it or do I get rid of it? It just sprang right back when I when I swatched it right there. I think I'm gonna keep it. I just wanna get rid of the really, really old ones in my collection, like this one. There's like white stuff in this. This is the shade Solo. Ugh. It's like a pretty, this one looks fine too. It's just crusty in the tube. It's like a beautiful pink shade, but I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Next, I have a metallic shade called Lights Out. Is this a gloss? No, it's a metallic shade. It's a pretty gold shade, but honestly, I'm never going to wear that. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Here's one that looks really crusty and old. This is Chili Chili, and this is an ultra matte. I'm going to get rid of this one. It's a really pretty brown shade. I feel like I've had this forever, so getting rid of it. Next is another, this is a glossy lip actually, and it's called Wolfy. It's like a berry shade. Has a really nice like reddish tone to it. But honestly, I never wear the glosses from ColourPop, so I'm going to get rid of that one. This is an ultra metallic in the shade, shade three way. So let's swatch that. I don't like the ultra metallics. I don't like metallic lips. I don't know why I bought them, but there it is right there. Getting rid of it. Next I have teeny tiny and this is an ultra matte as well. It's like a brown. This one looks fine, but I don't know, it just looks so crusty in the lid. I'm just not gonna wear these. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. Here's another one that I think I need to get rid of. This is the Ultra Matte in the shade Scrooge. It's like a pretty berry shade. Oh, this is such a pretty color. I'm a sucker for a good berry shade. Can you guys tell? Again, it sprang back to normal. Like, what the heck? Why? Nope, gonna get rid of it. This is gonna be cutthroat. I've kept these things for way too long. This is the shade Ruchi. It's from the Karuchi collection. These ones were very drying, but I love the pigmentation on these. This is like a really pretty burgundy shade. 
<sighs> I think I'm gonna keep that one. Really liked that. Here's one I'm gonna get rid of. This is Marshmallow by ColourPop. It's an ultra satin. I bought it because I thought it'd be so fun to have a purpley gray shade, but why? Like really, I'm too tan for that. So I need to get rid of it. This one I've had forever. This is the shade Lychee or Lychee. I don't know why I said Lychee. Like I'm from Sri Lanka, I know how to say Lychee. It's a really pretty purpley shade. Like very, very pretty, but I'm never gonna wear it. So we are going to say goodbye to that. Here's another metallic. This is in the shade Queen with a K. Uh, we're running out of room. I'll switch over here. I don't know what made me buy all these metallic shades. Like, what was I thinking with that? I really didn't need it. Next is another metallic. This is in the shade Man Eater. Ooh, it's like a gross gold brown shade. Do you guys see that? Hard pass. It's getting tossed. This one I wore on St. Patrick's Day, but honestly, like, I don't need this color. It's like a green glossy lip right there. And this is the shade Crystal Ball. Like, really, Karen? What a waste of money. I swear to God. Next, uh, an ultra metallic in the shade Sheeper? Creeper. This is in the shade Creeper. This is another one I've had for a long, long time. This is pretty. It's a really pretty bright red shade. Do you guys see that? Oh, I really like that color. But you know what? No, I'm not gonna keep it. I've had it for way too long. These are probably gonna go bad and like my lips are gonna fall off. This is a metallic in the shade Zebra. I'm not keeping any of the metallics. Ugh, this is like a brown metallic color. This is like that pretty vulgar shade that I hated. Do you guys see that? That's gonna go. I'm gonna toss that. Then I have this pretty color. It's a satin called Prim. It's like a dark burgundy shade. There it is right there. Super pretty shade. Here's another old one. Ugh, there's like white in here. I don't know why that is. This is Donut. I've had this one forever. This is like one of their first launches. Ugh, and like these are the nudes and the pinks like I hate. It's like a very, very pink salmon color. Do you see that? No thing. So next is the shade Trap. Sure, my trap queen. Okay, no singing. Okay, so this is a pretty grayish pink tone right there. I don't like it. I'm not keeping it. It's out. Next, I've got an ultra satin in the shade Cozy. It's like a corally orange shade. I really just went ham with these, didn't I? And then if you're not familiar with the Ultra Satins, they're like a liquid lip, but they don't dry down. So a lot of people think they're more comfortable than the Ultra Mattes. I personally don't like the Ultra Satins because they don't stay put. So if you try to eat with them on and stuff, you're gonna have a huge mess on your face. So it kind of defeats the purpose of a liquid lipstick if you ask me. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I bought a ton of them when they came out. This is the shade Panda. <laughs> panda, panda, just kidding, okay. It's pretty. It's a really pretty berry purpley shade. But I am not keeping it because I never wear it. Next is another one from the Karuchi line. This is the shade Chic. It's a pretty color. It's like a nude, but it's like a brownie nude. So it'll work really well with like a darker skin tone. It's not like the concealer nude. This is the shade Stingray from the It's Ray Ray collection or whatever. Oh, this is pretty. It's like a pretty pinky brown shade. Love it. I'm getting rid of it still. Here's a concealer color. This is the Ultra Matte in Platform. Like, what was I thinking? Ugh. This looks like a color I wore in like the 10th grade right there. Platform. Can you notice I got a little better with my swatches? This is the shade, this was so cool. This is the Rabbit. Nicole from Young Wild and Polish used to be obsessed with this shade when it first came out. And it's like a bright pink. 
honestly, like the ultra satins feel so creamy and nice, but they're so messy. Like, I don't know how people wear these. Okay, this one is also going to go, and I don't have a name on it, so I'm just going to swatch it for you guys quick. This is a really pretty color. It's sad, too, because these are six bucks, so if I do the math, it's like a really scary number. I'm not going to because I don't want to cry myself to sleep. Here's another one. I think I'm going to get rid of this. This is Beeper. This used to be, um, what is that really tall, skinny girl's name? Like, Michelle... What was her name? Glamorous something? Glamour Michelle? I don't know. She went off YouTube. It was weird. She went on like a bender or something. I'm not ki I'm kidding. She didn't go on a bender, but this is her favorite color. It's the shade Beeper. It's a super pretty brown nude shade. I'm still not keeping it. I literally never wear any of these colors. This is a really fun shade. This is Tansy. I really wanted this when I saw the Ultra Satins. So like right up my alley because I love like shit brown colors, but I never wear it. Never wear it. I like separated some of these out because I was like, oh, these are some of the shades I will wear. Actually, you know what? I feel like I'm going to put Tansy in the keep pile just in case I'm feeling nostalgic. This is Lumiere 2. Bought this because I love Kathleen Lights. Do I ever wear it? No. But here it is. It's like a purpley, pinky mauve shade. <sighs> I'm going to keep this just in case I want to use it in a video, like Kathleen Lights collab video or something. This is another one of my favorites. This is K from the Karuchi line. It's like a darker, more chocolatey brown version of Tansy. And this is an ultra matte, so I'm going to keep that. Then I have the shade London Fog. This is a satin. It's a really pretty red. I just never wear this. <sighs> I'm not keeping it, guys. It's got to go. I gotta tone myself down. This is the shade Bumble, and this is an ultra metallic. A lot of these shades are still available too on ColourPop's website. Like they're permanent most of them. This is really pretty. I really like that color. It's like a nudie pink but it's a darker nude so it's really really pretty. I think I'm gonna keep this one and we'll just keep that. This I'm getting rid of. Gross. Why did I even keep this the first time? This is Mess Around. It's like a it's like a muddy grayish brown right there. This is a shade Lost. And then I just bought all the blotted lips too. I'm really a hot mess express. This is pretty, but I never wear it. So it's got to go. Ooh, this is gross. What is this? A glossy lip. Do you see that? It's like cracked. Icky. I didn't really like their glosses. That's what it looks like. Boy, you are out. We got Lion King. This is a pretty berry shade. And I was nostalgic for the movie when I bought this color. This is an ultra satin. So I'm not going to keep it because the formula is super messy. Last three shades of the color pops. I got Tulips, which is a satin. Let's swatch right here. Another pretty brownie, purpley, mauvey, dark color. Don't need it, not keeping it. Here's a metallic, no, this is a gloss in the shade. I don't know, it's like the bronzy color. I like never wore this. It's very pigmented, but I'm never gonna wear that. So we are getting rid of it. And then the last shade is Silhouette. Ooh, this is pretty. Is this a matte or a... It's a matte! That's really pretty. I think I'm going to keep that one. Okay, I'm going to come back and tell you guys how many I'm keeping and how many I'm getting rid of. Okay, guys, so I did the final tally. I'm getting rid of 33 of the ColourPop Ultra Satins, Ultra Metallics, Ultra Mattes, Ultra Glossies. All of these are going to go, and these usually retail for $6, so... 6 times 33 is $198 worth of loopies. So 
yeah. If you guys saw any lipsticks that you want, just leave me a comment down below, especially if you're in the FM area. You can totally just have whichever color you want. Just let me know in the comments down below and I'd be happy to share these with you. And I'm only gonna keep 10 shades, so let's see if I get any use out of these 10 shades right here. So keeping $60 worth of with these. So I'm excited. Hopefully I'll get some good use out of these. There's some definite fun colors in here. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that ColourPop declutter video. I have been meaning to film this for so long. These have literally been sitting in this container forever so i'm so glad i got this out of the way i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what your favorite shade from ColourPop is i still love the brand guys i just bought a ton of their ultra blotted and blotted lips so the collection you know i get rid of some and i get more that's just how it works um but yeah look for a review on that soon thank you for watching and have a great day bye